say they were taking it low and slow on the rails. I could have only taken an outer flight on an SES A320, Norwegian 77, or even a Ritter or Dash 8 for a similar price. But I wanted to take some time to take the iconic Norwegian scenery from the ground. To accomplish that, we'll be on board a new train and motor transportation. We'll be on a train called the Road Ninja with a company called VY. Let's go on a long haul Nordic train trip, shall we? What's going on, guys? Casey Fry here. Today I am in Oslo. We left off last time. I'm on the Central Station ready to catch the Road Ninja train over to Bergen. Alright, train leaves in about 15 minutes. People are actually just lining up to board. Uh, but before that, I'm going to just grab a quick uh, coffee to get caffeinated uh, for the 6 hour train ride. Right now rocking my KLM cap that I got in Amsterdam uh, in the last video. Uh, to remind everyone that this is still a flight channel and we're not a train channel. Uh, so we're going to hop in line, board, and uh, we'll get on and uh, head west. I acquired my caffeine and quickly got to the line to board. The scheduled departure time came and went, and no movement on the line of the platform. Our uh, boarding has officially been delayed for six minutes. Uh, they're quote unquote preparing the train. Uh, there is some bad weather um, in eastern Norway, which is delaying and canceling a uh, decent amount of trains out of here. But that's really not a factor for us since we're going westbound. Uh, but they made an announcement saying that they're preparing the train. And the uh, departure board says that they're preparing the train, so hopefully in the next. 5, 10, 15 minutes, whatever, uh, the train will start moving and uh, we'll get down on board. Our uh, train is now delayed until 9, opposed to the original departure time of 8.30. So if this ends up being a review of SAS or Witterell going to Bergen, then uh, this is why. Eventually, we weren't delayed any further and the line started to move. We got down to the platform and I made the long hike back that ended up being long in the train route itself back to lucky number car number 7. I made my way back to seat 23, which would be my home for the next 6 hours, over to Bergen. Alright, quick seat tour. This is Economy on the Road Ninja. Uh, the legroom is pretty good. Uh, I'm 5'10", and this is what I got. You got a footrest here, which can come down. But, um, it's not very useful, because it goes that far down. Uh, at that point, just might as well use the floor. You got a net there for storage. Uh, also, right off the bat, we have a table here. But uh, one problem, a little bit limited, so if that works then you are able to store stuff, but in this case uh, we can't do that. We can also order food, which we'll get into a bit later if we were able to do that. But yeah, we're already delayed a tiny bit, uh, but uh, let's see um, how much for the week is delayed. Hopefully, famous last words we don't. Pretty soon we started to move and we were off 42 minutes late. Alright, making our way to the outskirts of Oslo and on our way to Bergen. Uh, you are able to recline the seats into a more relaxed and lounge position with a handle uh, in between the two seats. Uh, something that is definitely worth noting is that uh, these aren't the seats that I paid for. Um, originally, um, I paid for the two seats, uh, the one in the front, um, to be facing this one. Uh, that's why that little table was there uh, in the beginning. <laughs> Uh, but anyway, yeah, uh, now they're um, facing forward, and we only have the 2-2 two -two all facing forward. Um, maybe that's because they had to switch the cars around, um, or warm them, up, warm them up, and that may have been the cause of the delay. Um, but yeah, it is a full train, so I don't see us switching back. But yeah, these are not the seats that we paid for at all. Um, just the standard, standard 2-2 uh, two -two economy seats. Uh, don't get me wrong, I mean, they're not bad, but we paid for better seats, and this is not what we got. Um, but other than that, yeah, um, we got a trade table uh, to make up for the fold-out table uh, for the two seats facing each other, which works pretty good. It's a pretty decent size, and uh, we also got uh, two plugs um, in front, under the seat in front of us, and under the seat we're sitting on um, for the two seats, but... Um, 
yeah, it's a pretty decent seat overall uh, for economy on a uh, six-hour train ride. I definitely have this for a six-hour train ride. Then, you know, seats on a 2-2 plane on like a six-hour flight. Uh, but yeah, I'm not going to complain. Uh, we got the essentials. Um, the train is equipped with, equipped with Wi-Fi. Um, but it doesn't seem to be working for me. Um, I, I see it working for other people, but again, it's hit or miss, uh, proper KC Fire fashion, it's gonna be hit or miss, uh, but yeah, we'll try it, get it working a bit later, and now we'll see what happens. Starting off, we were going through quite a bit of tunnels getting out of Arthur, giving everyone a beautiful view of the darkness outside. The cabin attendant then came through checking our tickets. Pretty soon though, we were out in the open and greeted the rainbow, caused by the sunrise and the reflection on the snow. Our first stop out of the Oslo area was a town called Dramen, where we stopped to pick up some passengers. Alright, out of Jumin, um, we've been on this train for roughly just under an hour now, and uh, I've tried to connect to the Wi-Fi and it is not working. <laughs> So yeah, um, it's either me and I just get really bad luck with Wi-Fi, or it's actually hit or miss for everyone. Um, but if you come on this train or not and try the Wi-Fi, um, I won't depend on it. Uh, maybe it'll work for you, maybe it won't. Um, but here we are. Um, we got the views out the window as um, the entertainment at the IFE, or ITE in this case. Um, in train entertainment, if you want to say that even. Uh, but yeah, we got snow, we got the minus 10 degrees Celsius weather out there, and the uh, nice warm 75-80 degrees Fahrenheit weather in here. And uh, look outside, look at the sunrise, look at the town, look at the snow, and uh, that'll be the uh, show for the next 5 hours. <laughs> Not even in the mountain area yet and just starting off it looks absolutely stunning out there with even like the smaller hills and the lakes and the tiny tiny towns going along with it still i don't know how many towns we're gonna get um as we get into the larger mountains um closer to bergen but still now with the smaller hills i'll take what i can get absolutely beautiful out there We then made our first stop in a while in Horn Forest before progressing toward the mountains and lunchtime. Uh, as promised, here is the cafeteria car. Um, toward the front end of it, you have, I guess, just tables and like seats facing each other. Uh, it's just like place to eat. It's very empty right now. Um, I'm like the only one sitting down in that area. Then you got like a tiny kind of like bar table styled area looking out the window uh, where you can eat. It's smaller um, with smaller space, but it does work just with stewards and like you can look at the window while you sit 
and across from that is kind of where the food area is, where the buffet area is. Um, that's kind of where you pay. Um, there's just like an area for snacks, just like a lot of cold foods. Um, there's some pastries there too, but like mostly like drinks and like sandwiches that are already pre-made. And there's a coffee machine there as well. Um, but yeah, a lot of it's just like pre-made snacks and like some chips and like granola bars and stuff like that. Um, but yeah, nothing just like too major and big, like a big like meal. You're not going to get like a three course meal on here. But yeah, a lot of it is just like, you know, minor snacks. Or like cold sandwich and stuff like that. Um, but yeah, um, it'll get the job done for the six hours if you want a snack. Uh, between like, you know, breakfast, lunch, or dinner. You can come here. Um, and yeah, I paid about... I got this Pepsi that I paid about uh, 470 grown for, which is equivalent to like $4.70 USD. The views outside were absolutely stunning and definitely a primary form of entertainment, except for when they're covered by trees, snow mounds, or tunnels. Wait, did I also mention snow mounds? Alright, here is my first and may or may not be my last train lure review. You got the uh, toilet, it's just toilet things. You got this. Uh, maybe someone has done that in the past. Don't know who, but someone's done that. <laughs> so I have to put that there. Docking buttons, higher flush. You got toilet paper. You got the uh, dryer, higher dryer hands. When I just did it, it wasn't very um, effective. Uh, that button for water. And then that handle down there for soap. Uh, no drinking, no smoking. You got me. Got a handle over here, and that's a very nice looking uh, mural of a tree, as well as the uh, toilet paper and the garbage. As we progressed into the hills, the tunnels got more common as we had to go through said hills. We stopped in the next small town, Gallo, Norway, making our way close to the Bergen. Pretty soon we were in proper Norwegian mountain outback, feeling as if we were the kids in the Polar Express going through northern Canada, on our way to the North Pole. Alright, rolling into our first North Pole stop, Fence, Norway. We then approached a point on our trip known as the Seven Tunnels, where as you can imagine got pretty tunnel heavy. rolling into the station of Hollingsked. Uh, it's getting really tunnely, very tunnel heavy on this portion of the trip. I was just going through mountains and hills. Um, barely any time outside to actually see stuff. Um, some of the uh, tunnels do have windows. So on the rest of the segment, I accidentally unplugged my mic as I was filming, so it was really difficult to hear me. But basically all it was, was just me complaining about how it was our tunnels and I couldn't see anything outside and that some of the tunnels had windows, so we got the best of both worlds where we could kind of look outside and we were still in the tunnels. And we even had a station or two that was actually in the tunnels. But yeah, it was just me seeing how annoying it was that we couldn't see outside of the scenery. I had it perfectly focused in that one, but another tunnel. Perfectly focused, then tunnel and just boom, here we are. All right, pulling into the Mirador station, where passengers are gonna then connect to the Fram Road.
Alright, 40 miles to go, rolling into the city of Voss. Alright, we have just about 10 miles to go until we get into the Bergen station. I'm not going to do a regular rod reading for this, uh, as I would in my normal airline reviews, but the seat, it definitely worked out, it was comfortable. Uh, the recline could have been a little bit better, uh, since I was at the bulkhead, since there was a wall behind me. Uh, but the front rest ended up being great, it ended up working out. Uh, the tray table was plenty big enough, um, the seat worked out, it was comfortable, I got to relax, it was pretty easy to relax. The views, the entertainment was absolutely amazing. Uh, really the primary entertainment on this are the views outside and what you're looking at. The towns and the lakes and the mountains and the snow looks absolutely beautiful out there. And without the Wi-Fi, that defeats the entire purpose of this. Looking at your phone, watching videos, going through TikTok, going through Instagram. Oh, that really defeats the purpose of this whole train ride and going low and slow across it. It really, really defeats the purpose. But, yeah. We are approaching Bergen, about 10 miles out, like I mentioned. And this... I, I do not regret flying at all. Uh, taking the train low and slow. Uh, taking the hour flight, I don't regret. And then taking the 6 hour train ride. As all Av Geeks were, most Av Geeks probably. Um, they liked trains before planes, and I'm definitely one of them. So doing this whole train video was definitely, definitely fun for me. And being able to, you know, film outside for six hours just listening to music and just relaxing looking out there uh that being my primary form of entertainment for this um definitely definitely amazing we started the train ride with the sun rising in oslo now we're ending it with the sun setting in bergen it felt rewarding knowing i went the long way and more scenic way so enjoying the grand reads of our approach in the bergen station felt great One thing about trains, it doesn't matter where they're going. What matters is deciding to get on. Alright y'all, I made it to my hotel in Bergen. I'm totally not staging this entrance just for the sake of a transition, but I really hope you guys enjoyed my review on the Ninja Train by VY as much as I did riding it across Norway. Absolutely beautiful scenery and definitely different from what I normally do, but hey, that's okay, I definitely enjoyed it. Definitely one of the highlights of this trip right behind the Lufthansa 747. Next week we'll get back to the regular programming of flight reviews. Little hint for next week, may or may not be an appeal on my body, I don't know. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll see you guys then. Bye for now.